Here's how to do speed ramping in Premiere Pro. Here I have a 28 second long video clip that I shot with my Canon R6 at 128 frames per second. I wanted to start a slow motion, speed into living room and slow down like that. So here's what we do first. I'm gonna to go to my effects panel. In the search bar, type in warp stabilizer and I'm going to double click on that. What this does is it's going to stabilize my footage and make it less shaky and more stable. I didn't shoot this on my gimbal, so it's not the best. Okay, now click on the clip in your timeline and press the letter N to make it a nested sequence. I'm gonna call this stabilized shot. Now, in your timeline, let's expand this channel by clicking on the in-between line and dragging this up pretty high. The more room, the better, so that we can do the speed ramping a lot easier. Right-click on the little effects icon on the top right of your clip, go down to time remapping and click speed. Now press the letter P on your keyboard to get your pin tool. I'm gonna to select where I want to be slow and when I want it to speed up. So this first part, I want it to be slow motion right up till about here when I start to go into the hallway. So I'm gonna click one point right there. It makes a little blue marker and it's gonna be fast here. And I want it to slow down right here to reveal the living room right when I come through that doorway. So draw another point there. Now press letter V for the move tool on your keyboard. I'm gonna click on this segment right here and drag it upwards. This is controlling the speed of the overall clip. You saw it got much shorter because this middle portion is sped up. This middle part is at 800% speed. So if I click play, you can see it's going through sm slowly, then it speeds up, then it slows down. I want it to be even faster. Let's go up to about 2000% slow. Fast, slow, that's pretty good. Another thing to make this even better is to control the speed at which your speed ramp ramps. I know that sounds confusing, but you can actually move these markers. There's beginning and end points of these speed ramp markers. And now it's going to slowly speed up to fast and then slowly speed down to slow. Click on that in-between marker again, let me zoom in, and you can make it even uh, smoother by giving it a logarithmic curve. Very nice. It's less jarring and jerky when you have those curves on the speed ramp. 